Alright, what is going on you little cunts? This is of course your boy Wolfgang here today and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of our Rust Co-op Survival and uh, before I start this episode I'm gonna lag. Before I start this episode out I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, little base tour right now. Alright, so I'll start here with the shop. Um, we kinda only really put this here so uh, people can we can attract people to the area and kill them and whatnot because we're scumbags. And we also wanted it here so we could attract people to the base so people could try and raid us. I know that sounds dumb but um people try and raid us, we can uh, get some action and do some raid defense. And this is the 7-Eleven, this is the starter base, it's just on the other side of the shop here, and I don't know if you guys remember this from like the first episode, but we don't really use it anymore, I don't even have this shit in here, man, no one's been in here for that long. Alright, so here we got, um, we've just got a little bridge we've made so you don't, you don't really get too cold and wet, even though there's water there so it kind of defeats the purpose, but it's not much, it's not much, because living out here in the cold, man, it is fucking brutal. A lot of people probably don't try and raid us just because um, they'll get cold. I don't know who made this sign on the entrance of the base, the German sex dungeon, but I like it, man. It pretty much sums up the whole entire base. That's what this base is. All right, so in here we have the compound, um, S for South. We've got um, like directional things on every every entrance and exit, so we know what way South and North and stuff is. Um, sorry for the little kids who had to look at that. Um, you got to learn about it sometime. I really don't know where to start. I guess I'll walk around the perimeter first. So first of all, we got all these auto turrets up on these uh, little, I guess you could say platforms. And we've got the ladders going up to them so you can uh, put new put new ammo and shit in them. And then we've got these towers. These don't really have anything in them. They don't really serve a purpose besides the fact that... If I can get in there. Yeah, but these towers don't really serve any purpose besides getting more angles on people that are outside our base if we ever had to defend or... Just be roof camping scumbags in general. The very top floor, they're all bulletproof glass, so you can't shoot from this floor, but you can like suss out where cunts are down at the wall and shit, and then you can jump down and you can take shots on them. These things are basically just for base defense, and we have four of them all the way around the compound, just so we can see over the walls, because you don't want to be restricted with your sight. You always want to be able to see over the walls. There's the airdrop, and uh, I don't know what the fuck they're making here. This is just some random thing. These are the TCs. I wish I could show you what they're... I can, I might be able to jump up here and show you guys. So if you check out the TCs here, as you guys can see, they're pretty fucking armored, double stack walls and stuff like that. Anyone that wants the external TCs to get building privilege to try and build up, they've got to waste a few rockets to get there. And even still, when they get in here, they're all stacked. There's three of them stacked inside the main base. We also have like uh, another layer of these Point Dexter looking motherfuckers just around the, the base of the base. That's right, it's a bit of a tongue twister. So yeah, this path basically goes all the way around. Everything's symmetrical, like I said. Um, so if that's there and that's there, it's going to be like that all the way around. I don't know, I just shot. I did it by accident. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the inside of the base. We've got some uh, bear hides here. They're just sort of trophies on the bears that we've uh, killed and then raped. So we keep them up there. A couple of random pictures and shit like that. As you can expect from bases like this, there's going to be a fucking shit ton of doors. It's just sort of something you have to do. It's really annoying, but like I said, something you got to do. So if we go through all these doors, which, by the way, if you're bringing a visitor in here, this is this is nearly impossible to try and bring someone in here that doesn't have codes. It's fucked up, man. So this little room here is just like a drop chest room. Um, got another auto turret there. We've got a bunch of um, bunch of paintings here. I don't know what they say. Hit list, ox. Uh, we've taken out the other two. Still haven't taken out ox yet. M uh, mainly ox is on there for a meme. We keep memeing this guy. We are. Uh, oh, I love ox. Ox is a good guy. And then there's gloomy self portrait. It looks exactly like him. It's it's uncanny, and I honestly don't think there's much in these drop chests at the moment, man. No, there isn't. Alright, so below this uh, bear rape victim here, we've got this little thing here. We like to just get stoned in the furnace room here, and then we'll come in here and we'll just spin this over and over again. It just trips us the fuck out. It's really, it's a really good time. I didn't want people to know in the early videos when this is getting built, I didn't want to show that there was a furnace in here, because it, it's not a weakness, but if someone gets to the middle, they can sort of blow up there and get to the loot rooms, that's if they find the TCs, but alright, so instead of just having hatches and stuff uh, to get up to your higher floors, we've gone with the ladder and door approach. I think I showed this to you guys in my last base. Um, when you log off, you open up these doors and people can't really use the ladder. They have to blow the door out. Even if they do blow out the door, they're still going to get up the ladder, which they're probably damaged with the explosives, and then they got to deal with this little cunt up here. He's going to roast them like a fucking, like a Jew. I'm sorry about that, that was just a joke guys, just calm the fuck down, it was just a joke. And we have another one right here, so there's two doors people have to go through if they're raiding us, and then they gotta get through this door, and then once they do, look at that, we've got Point Dexter up here patrolling the area. This whole floor, we've got auto turrets uh, pretty much covering every angle as you guys can see, just goes around in a triangle like this, a couple of auto turrets, every angle, people aren't safe, you're gonna come up here, you're not safe, we've got them up in the top, 
them up in the top there. And once again, we have like the directional stuff north, southwest. We've got them on every door. Southwest again, I don't know how there's two southwest. Someone must have fucked that up along the line. And then we've got these uh, little uh, wheels that we spin. Who farms next? Let's find out who's farming next. Every time I spin one of these things, it lands on my own name for some reason. I have no idea why. It has landed on Happy. Well, Happy's not on right now. And uh, who do we raid next? Uh, remember how I said Ox is a bit of a meme? This is why. All right, so I'll wish you guys over the, the loot room in here. Uh, it's not our primary loot room. It's just where we keep, you know, components and stuff and kind of just random stuff that we think is less important, but it's still more convenient to get on this floor than going up to the top room. We got a lot of shit, basically. We've done a lot of raids and we've got a lot of shit. Uh, this one's armored and just wood and shit ton of guns. If you guys can uh, imagine a ton of shit, the weight of that, that's what we have in guns. A shit ton of guns. Attachments and shit. And uh, yeah, that's it for that, for that loot room. We've got the furnace room here. Uh, fridge there. A little cunt sleeping up there. I don't know what he's doing up there. It's quite disrespectful. You don't fall asleep on a men's furnace. I've never in my days witnessed anyone do that and he's just done it. I can't believe it. Uh, let's go up to the next floor. <laughs> Alright, so the next floor up is like the main loot room. Once again, it's got these doors here just to make it harder for people to get up. Close them all once you get up one and then we got the... Some kind of shooting. We got the cell doors. See, the auto turret just took out some cunt down there, as you guys can see in the kill feed. As you guys can see, this one's uh, heavily protected by these Point Dexter fucking auto turrets. I don't know why I'm calling them Point Dexter. I've literally just made it up in this video and now I'm just going I'm going with it. I don't really care. But these things are kind of covering a lot of angles and this is where everyone sleeps for some reason. We have beds and all that, but um, we just like to, as a family, as a community, we all like to log off here naked lined up next to each other. It's just a, it's a bonding thing as well, I think. Alright, so we got the loot rooms here, they're double walled. And, uh, I don't know what's in there at the moment. Bunch of P2s, bunch of ammo, bunch of lag. And this one, I think this is the AK loot room. Yeah, a bunch of AKs. M2s, um, we've been taking down quite a few helicopters and that's all the M2s we've been able to get, like four or five, I think. And we've been getting pretty unlucky with the crates, man. The next one has... Oh, uh, fuck man, CCTVs and stuff, more P2s, more pistol ammo. What's this one got? This one has more fucking guns. We got guns coming out of your fucking coit. We got guns coming straight out of the coit. So many, we can afford to lose any go roaming when we want. It's really good for me because I can go roaming whenever the fuck I want and uh, not have to worry about losing stuff. The next one has, I think, just more guns, man. Some 556. Five, Some white block that I don't, I don't really... Alright, it's an AK. Next one has just ra random gear and guns and shit. We got that many guns, boys. Um, this is my skull. Uh, Aloysius Devon down to Abercrombie. That's uh, my name's Mud at the moment, but that's long for Mud. So I've been told. Yeah, they're all laid out the same, so you're not seeing anything new. We yeah, have actually quite a bit of high core there. We could start armor and shit and stuff like that. Um, next one. I don't know. Uh, face masks and shit. That's just uh random. Like roaming uh, gear, we don't usually wear that gear. When we all go out together, we wear, I think it's in here? Yeah, we wear this gear that I'm wearing right now. Everyone sort of has to wear that gear so we can tell the people apart, you know. Don't want to get confused and shoot your own teammates. Um, bunch of gunpowder. Bunch of charcoal. This is the good chest, I think. Oh uh, yeah, all our rockets and stuff. We don't have as many rockets as we usually would. We've been doing a lot of raids. As you guys can probably tell by the videos, unless they're not up yet. Bunch of rocket launches. We need a little bit more tech trash, man. We don't have much tech trash. <laughs> Next floor up's the shooting floor, and this is where the beds are, and I don't even know what's in these chests. These are just to look out the windows and stuff. I'll, I'll actually have a look at them. I think they're all empty. People just drop random shit wherever the fuck they want, man. At one point, all these chests were full of stone. I don't know if that's the case anymore. There's still a bit of stone in here. Nah, they're all going to be empty. I can't be fucked with them. Yeah, this is just uh, a shooting floor, and you can head up again and get on the roof. Get quite a few good angles on the roof up here, I think. I've never had to fight off the roof because no one wants the fucking raiders, like I said. But uh, if we ever had to do it, we've got a lot of a lot of good base defense. All right, so I'm gonna head down and show you guys the heli tower and stuff and the compound. But the main uh, mastermind behind this base, it was basically hand bearing. That guy's like a he's a really smart dude. It's his design, and I didn't show you guys out here, actually. Yeah, handbone's a smart dude. It's all his own design. He's really good at when it comes to making bases. Um, we got another, I guess, shooting floor here. 
which doesn't get used a whole lot. So we've got these uh, ladder hatches here and we chose not to hug the hug the actual base with um, high external stone walls so we can get better angles on them. Because if you actually put the high externals around there, I think that there's places for people to hide and hug the wall and we didn't really want that. We want to make sure we can cover every angle of the base. There's no hidden spots. So that's what we've basically done. I might just go down here, man. But I'm going to show you guys the rear of the compound. It leads into another compound we've made. Which is our out here. This is our helicopter tower. I think most of you guys have seen it in a, in a couple of my videos. It's a bit overkill, but just how the chopper works now, it shoots um, the rockets and stuff. It's really good to have a big one like that. And we, we did it because we can. And uh, if we're up there, we do drop the helicopter. Um, nine times out of ten, it will land in our big, big fucking fuck off compound here. We basically own this bit of land. We come out here on Christmas Day and we play, you know, backyard cricket and stuff in here. And we kick the footy out here every now and then. It's really nice bonding sesh for the boys. Like I said, we're all about bonding in here. Is, uh... We've got a quarry in here. So this is one of the quarry compounds. Some people might think it's a bit of overkill having all these uh, all these TCs in here for a quarry, but like I said, we have the materials, may as well do it. Might as well uh, go over the top. We don't have ladder hatches or anything, you can get straight to the top. We have a little bit of loot in here, but not a whole lot. Like, you guys know, you don't want to keep your loot in your chopper tower. Especially M2s and stuff, and the stuff that's in here, it's not very good stuff, it's just stuff we've thrown in here that we don't really care about. So yeah, this is the top of the chopper tower. There was a really nice sign there. Um, it was Inspector Wolfgang, I wish I wish it was still there, the chopper must have blown it out. I'll wait till it goes, you know, daytime so I can show you guys the actual compound so you guys can see properly and I think I'll just wait around the fire and have a, a solo one man circle jerk by myself. That's one thing we sort of had to get used to, if it's night time, you stay indoors, you don't go outside. If you get wet out here in the snow and the cold, you just get fucking molested by it bro. A lot of people think we're idiots for building out here in the snow but we've adapted to it, we've gotten used to doing that. And it's not a problem for us, but uh, for the people trying to raid us and people trying to fuck with us out this way, it's something they don't probably take into consideration. And that's why a lot of people, when they do truncan our hallies or anything like that, they, they just freeze. This is another little quarry compound in here. Sort of connects onto the main compound. So uh, yeah, that's basically the majority of the base. And I guess there's a reason why people haven't raided this. It would be a hard raid, especially now that these auto turrets are a lot cheaper. Like, if you're trying to get in near one, you got to get over the water and through the snow and if you've done that at night time you're gonna die instantly you're just gonna die so already it's a challenge just getting to the walls and you got to get through two layers whilst trying to empty the auto turrets and once you get in what are you going to do next are you going to try and build up or you got to get through get through these external tcs and that's wasting a lot of uh, rockets there i personally probably would not be able to raid this place it'd probably be too much for me i'd probably just quit once i've gotten in here and gotten killed by the turrets and stuff and even if you do get to the to the main building and you've taken out one of the TCs you got to blow your way in which getting through the stacked walls and stuff that's going to take a bit and then you've got to find the TCs to get up to the loot room which I don't even know where they are I honestly couldn't tell you where the TCs are I'm, I've got building privilege but I don't I can't remember where they are this furnace room here would be one of the weaknesses that I know of it's not a bad weakness either it's barely a weakness once they finally do get to the building and they blow all the way in how they gonna know where the loot is, what floor? Well, I fucking told you, but you guys aren't gonna raid us in that time. <laughs> it's gonna be white by the time any of you guys get enough like rockets and stuff, but um, you gotta know where the loot floor is and then you gotta get up there. You gotta find the TCs to build up there, so. I guess that's not even really a weakness, but that's how I probably would try and do it if I were to raid it, and that's me having knowledge on the base. If you didn't know that was in there, you wouldn't know to do that. I think there is weaknesses to this base. I don't know what they are. Um, Hambones mentioned them, but I can't remember them. I can actually, I'll ask him real quick. What What are the weaknesses to this base? There are not. No, oh, there is, but... there were some. You don't want to say there it are, there? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, better safe than sorry. I, I uh, sort of mentioned the furnace in the middle, but I didn't say it was a weakness. It's barely a weakness. you got you got to know it's yeah, there for starters. The only reason the set of the furnace is a weakness is because you can get to all the TCs through it, but you got to find them. Yeah, yeah. That's not the weakness. Like, if you've got to the furnace, you've already already wasted a lot. Hmm. There's a, there's other ways, but I ain't saying. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> My draw distance is all out, boys, and I can't see that. <laughs> yeah, potato graphics. Hmm. It's gonna. Ah! Gonna, get some gonna do a rocket run. No. Run! Run away! Fucking here you go, 
fucking fucked up, Rip. Bear. Oh, fucking stuck. Ah, no, no, <laughs> Corona! <laughs> that took way too long. Woo! <laughs> this one's landed in water. Um, ah, no, no. what's the chances? M M2. Was it? Two. You didn't let me see. Yeah. That's yours, bro. Nah. You're full of shit. Nah. Look, this one's <laughs> That's the one weapon you had in your hand, bro. Weapon sight and a scope. That was it. Look, look, this, scope. look. One from drop. Oh. Uh, that's Gloomy's. This is rigged. Switch to the this same one <laughs> Oh, did you? You fucker. <laughs> no, it was an it stayed on your back when you switched. The drum, no one's just got a uh, ammo. Yeah, what was the air one then? Uh, what was it? No, Rogue's out. Oh, okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, uh, fuck.